Okay. Yes. Okay. So today speaker is Dr. Kadowaki from the Denso Japan. So the so all of you know that uh, he actually is the pioneer of the quantum annealing, of course. So so he will give a recent uh, his theoretical research on the uh, quantum annealing, and the title of his talk is Quantum Greedy Optimization. So Kadowaki san, please start. Uh, thank you, Kawasan, for inviting me to this uh, meeting. So I will talk about quantum grid optimization, which is recently published in Philosophical Transaction of Real Society A. And this is, is you can see the archive number as well. It's a joint work with Professor Nishimori. Okay, so we want to solve combinatorial optimization problems by qubits. And we have many algorithms uh, like this, greedy adaptive search, quantum annealing, AQC, QAOA, BQE, etc. cetera. Uh, but at this point, we don't see the uh, advantage against classical, classical algorithms with noisy device uh, that we want to overcome. To do that, uh, one idea is a shorter annual time, uh, which is essentially important to avoid the noise. And for this setting, counter diabetic driving to compensate the counter effect of the shorter annual time, also mm, important. I think. So for this, we propose an algorithm to optimize variational parameters of counter diabetic driving, sequentially using sensitivity analysis. Okay, what is a sensitive analysis in quantum annealing? The idea is our QGO algorithm consists of quantum annealing with site and time dependent Y field control. Or, so you know, to implement Y field is not straightforward. So we can convert it to the X and Z field, but it's time and Site dependent uh, simultaneous control of X and Z field. We will see later how we can control those fields. And this algorithm is a variation of variable fixing algorithm, such as sample persistence. Okay, what is sample persistence? It's an idea of to have a to shrink the original problem to smaller problems. Always smaller problems is welcome because this time for solving or finding ground state uh, can reduce, can be reduced. So how to do this in sample persistence? This is another idea, uh, but it's good to know. Uh, so in for example, this is a result from uh, simulated annealing. We have 100 independent result for the single instance. Uh, so the spin configuration is slightly different. Uh, but you see some spins, some sides always up or down, uh, which is persistence. So we can fix those spins to a specific plus or minus up or down. After that, we have a smaller problem and we put much more time to solve um, precisely for a small reduced problem. That is the idea of variable fixing algorithm. And we can 
apply this sequentially or one by one from, in this case, it has 200 variables. So one uh, reduction, we have 199, 198 to zero. Uh, so we can apply repeating tree. Okay, so I will describe the, how we can apply the sensitivity analysis in sequential QGO. In this case, we have a toy problem of easing problem like this. This is the ground state. And in the initial time of quantum manealing, we apply the X field. So the spins align to X direction. And for, we want to think about short time annealing. So the final state is not perfect. Uh, still we have X component. Uh, but uh, it's close to the ground state. Okay, this is a reference, we call reference state. And we have three test state because we have three sites. So first one, we apply the temporal perturbative Y field to rotate spin to toward Z direction here for this spin, this spin and this spin. So we have three state separately. And in this case, the energy increases. Uh, in this case, energy decrease. In this case, energy increase. And we sort the, this absolute value of the energy difference and the largest one is more sensitive to the Y field rotation, uh, y, y field to rotate. So we pick this side and we fix this spin to down because if we try to spin up, the energy increase. So we want to put, fix this fast spin down. For this analysis, we already run for QA analysis. And for next time, we know well, we want to fix this spin identified in the previous slide. So I will describe how to fix this spin. But anyway, we will continue the analysis. So we now have another reference state with fixed spin and we apply the perturbative Y field for this side and for this side. And delta E is large, or larger for this setting. So we fix this side and see the energy decreases. So this time we fix the south spin up, which is preferable because energy decreases. And we, okay, two spins next we fix. And also we have three additional Q analysis. And finally, we already fix two spins. And we have one reference state and one test state. And energy increases, so we fix the second, this spin down. And in total, we have nine QA runs. So it, it takes, it may take time, uh, but uh, this is a sensitivity analysis. It seems works. Okay, so let's confirm another, with another example. So now we have also random system, random interaction, random field. And we have eight spins. This is spin index and this is the repeat index. So we sweep the 
actually, we, we have many QA runs for different, uh, different amplitude of Y field. But uh, after that, uh, we will see that just one run will be, in, be enough. But anyway, we uh, eight uh, sensitivity analysis. And we see this is most sensitive and we should fix this pin down. And now we don't have to check this side. So we have a seven side and this is, so now you see the curve shape is more clear or the slope is largest among those spins. So we can identify this is the most sensitive one and based on this, uh, this shape, uh, we know this should be fixed to down. And repeat this. Okay, this time we fix down, down, up, down, up, up. Okay, now we have, we fix the spin, all of the spins. Is it the ground state? This case, eventually, yes. Uh, so this question arises: Does this algorithm work for any problem? Of course not. So we want to think or study further, uh, but we have an interesting observation. If we use the fidelity as a measure, so far we measure the energy, which is observable. The fidelity is not observable uh, because we don't know the ground state. Fidelity in this case is a overlap of the final state and the ground state, which is we want to know. Uh, so we, we don't know, uh, but if we know the fidelity, uh, we always find the ground state, even the simplified single shot QGO. What, what is a single shot QGO? Is, so far it's sequentially we conduct the sensitivity analysis. The single shot is just we conduct the sensitivity analysis for all of the site, all of the spins and fix using this information, only this information, not conduct sequentially. Uh, so just one shot, single shot analysis of the sensitivity, we fix all of the spins. It works perfectly. Uh, that means the n is a number of sites and the reference, so n plus one final set have complete information for the ground state. We can retrieve the ground state from this information. If we we use the fidelity as a measure, that is nonsense, I know, but uh, that that's, uh, information is very informative, I think. Uh, but the energy measure, using energy measure, we don't have the ground state, the answer is, so this uh, identify fix in the incorrectly. Uh, so for energy measure, it doesn't work. That means the major and fixing order, the one shot or sequentially or another approach, that, that strategy also essential for algorithm development. Okay, so I will describe the how we can fix the spin. Actually, the fixing spin and, and the sensitivity analysis, finding a very small Y field is essentially the same Hamiltonian we can use, which is a counter derivative driving time. Uh, the most simple uh, CD term is a Y field. So these guys are discussed. Uh, uh, Takashi 
uh, he, he gives the exact uh, solution for the mean field analysis. Uh, but we don't have the exact uh, counter derivative term, just we need to approximate uh, Hamiltonian enough for our purpose, and we choose this square sign, uh, sign curve for applying the Y field. And uh, uh, this A and B are the linearly increase and decrease, which is very common for quantum annealing. And we test first the uh, mean field uh, case. So we have three terms and we fix the A equal one. So we optimize two parameters and measure the magnetization. And this is the uh, trajectory of the dynamics of the system for various parameters. And we see this is the optimal case. The B is uh, slightly smaller than the one. We usually use B equal one, uh, but uh, in this case, uh, it's better to set a, a little smaller one. And uh, this C, we put 1.5 for further analysis. The arc, uh, this, this is arc actually. Not, not 1.5, uh, but this value will be used. And this approximated counter derivatic Hamiltonian, how much across the exact uh, Hamiltonian uh, given by Takahashi? Uh, okay, this is the time development of the Magnetization for our future Hamiltonian and is the first Hamiltonian exact solution for specific parameter setting. We see the similar curve, blue and purple. And for this parameter, uh, we can confirm the this term, uh, time dependence is pretty good agreement, purple and blue here. Yeah. So it, it's okay to use this uh, approximation. And this is a how uh, we can convert from Y field to X and Z field. So the original scheduling is linear increase, decrease of cost problem Hamiltonian and uh, the Y field uh, transverse uh, field Hamiltonian term and uh, additional counter diabetic driving term. So if we uh, change to Z and X field, uh, the problem Hamiltonian uh, coefficient is same, uh, but to B as a transverse field is very different schedule we need from linear decrease to this sign shape. And Z field, additional Z field the time dependent Z field we need in addition to the problem Hamiltonian. And this is a Z field. And you see the order is more than one digit larger for this additional Z field. But anyway, uh, we can implement this QGO Hamiltonian if we can control the X and Z field uh, more precisely compared to the uh, current like d uh, device. And again, so well, we use two measures, the fidelity and energy. Again, the fidelity 
we don't know because we don't know the ground state. Uh, but theoretically, it's good to think about. And that was uh, the discuss uh, the analysis of the MIFI. Uh, now we switch the gear to the many body system. Uh, we start from ferromagnetic model and similar optimization for B and C coefficients. We conduct it and we see the similar value of 0 0.54 and 0 0.54. Five six for n equals twenty, and we see the uh, it's very robust against the small deviation of the transverse field. Uh, but to the Y field and annealing time, uh, this is the reciprocal deviation we see. So shorter annealing time, we need. Uh, stronger uh, Y field. Anyway, okay, so and we plot the size dependency of this optimal value. So we see the good convergence, uh, even for the fidelity analysis and energy analysis, so blue and orange. And uh, if we, have larger size uh, fidelity or error, uh, fidelity, infidelity error decrease. Okay. And uh, this is uh, how the system will behave in terms of the time. So this is a cost function problem Hamiltonian overlap increase monotonically. And uh, This one is with QA Hamiltonian, the problem and transverse field Hamiltonian uh, oscillates uh, in the last stage of quantum mining. And also the total Hamiltonian with Y field oscillates. But again, the problem Hamiltonian overlap increase monotonically to almost one. And that is not observed for short time annealing, the conventional quantum annealing. So it does not grow to one. Okay, so towards the design of algorithm, we want to confirm another thing, how to implement or how to implement the sequential optimization. So we still use the ferromagnetic model. So, so far we optimize the single parameter of C just to optimize two parameters, B and C. And we don't to think about the independent, cytodependent to C, I. Uh, but now we, think about the title dependent uh, Y field. Okay, so for fidelity and energy, so, but in the ferromagnetic model, the all spins are equivalent. So just to I test it to one, one side. Uh, and we, we, we can't see the, this is almost straight, but there's a curved curve slightly curved and uh, this is optimal value and once the one spin fixed the both system so we see the dependence of the y, y field uh, strength dependence so around 1.5 we see this is optimal so this plot sh shows the step by step one spin fixing, two spin fixed, three spin, four spins, we see the uh, energy goes lower and uh, we can fix the spins. And that means the spin configuration ground state 
is a sign of parameters. So this case, it's all plus. And that is an inverse sign of the gradient at CI. CI equals zero here, this sign. So CI equals zero, all the gradient is negative. So the sign of parameter positive. Sign of ground state is all up. So we just need the gradient at CI equals zero both of fidelity and energy. Now we can design our algorithm, sequential QGO. So input is a major, major uh, energy or fidelity. And optimal uh, C opt and B opt, which is calculated from the ferromagnetic system. Uh, so the calculation optimization is pretty straightforward. We, we borrow this uh, optimal value for random system. Uh, so that, that is assumption, uh, but it, it works well. That the algorithm will initialize those parameters and conduct a sensitivity analysis, which is uh, to calculate the gradient uh, at C equal zero and uh, select the most sensitive spin, the largest gradient among those spins. And if we select the most sensitive one, and fix that parameter, and repeat this until all of the spin parameters are fixed. Once all the parameters are fixed, that uh, just uh, plus or minus, up or down, that information is uh, and represents a ground state. Again, that we already see this slide, but uh, this is a result, optimized re result of this parameter by QGO. And uh, this uh, optimization can be conducted separately without uh, no assumption we can use the standard uh, optimizer like BFGS uh, for continuous value optimization. So you, you see the values are very similar. Uh, so that, that means that if we, we use the C opt from ferromagnetic optimization, that uh, the value uh, works well. So now we have an uh, algorithm. So we tested the performance uh, against Schmidt annealing and quantum annealing. We are interested in the shorter annealing time. And we know in such uh, situation, the Schmidt annealing and especially quantum annealing doesn't work well. Uh, so you see the success probability uh, quickly decreases. Uh, depending on the size of the problem or quantum annealing of simulated time. But the QGO is designed for short annealing time. So we see the uh, pretty good performance in QGO with the success probability. And another major index is time to solution. And uh, at first we see this algorithm is uh, we conduct quantum annealing repeatedly. That, that causes an overhead of the, this algorithm. So this is the upper limit of the overhead. So we multiplied. In such case, those are very comparable. Uh, but I, I think uh, that is upper limit. So we, we can figure out the better uh, strategy of uh, fixing uh, spins. Uh, for example, uh, we fix uh, multiple spin at that time, so we can reduce this overhead. And I think this is the last part of the result. So we have to know 
how, how much the quantum annealing contributed to this uh, result of good performance because the uh, anne we, we conducted very short time annealing. Is it, uh, is that contribute to the quality of solution? So that, that is a question. So we want to uh, confirm. So this is, a, this is actually the quantum circuit, but uh, this is a, a QGO, QGO circuit without QA, that means just to Y field uh, we can apply. So we can easily implement it in a quantum circuit with RX gate. Uh, like, uh, yeah, that is a very simple B key ansatz. And we tested this result here. And especially in a tau equal five, uh, the quantum annealing period, uh, we see a uh, significant improve of the solution quality. So that means the even the very short annealing time, uh, the, that information contributes to the quality of the solution. Okay, that's it. And my, yeah, so the this summary. So we, we introduced the sensitivity analysis uh, with the Y field. And uh, we show the, uh, that is so not too perfect, but uh, we see the higher success rate than schmidt and quantum annealing in short annealing time. Okay, that's it. Thank you. So thank you very much for your very interesting presentation. So now let's open question and comment from the audience. So do you have any question or comment? So please use raise hand button. So actually I have many several a uh, couple of questions. So well, first, I'd like to ask about the, uh, uh, can you show the, uh, the slide 20, 20 uh, page number 20? Yes, please. Page number 20, ah, 20, 20. 20, uh, okay. Page, okay. <laughs> 20 yes. Well, ah, well, yes, so you show that there's some uh, improvement in the scaling, but there, as regards the uh, TTS, so the improvement is not so dramatic. But anyway, my question is that uh, actually that uh, this result for some spe specific uh, spin grass, uh, random spin grass models, and uh, this is averaging. So result from mm, some yes. average oh, yes. instance. Ah, yes, mm. 100 random instances. Yes, so, so my question is that uh, actually that uh, this kind of the improvement of the uh, scaling or the TTS is uh, actually that uh, for quite, I mean that the uh, general, I mean that, uh, so you just uh, consider the uh, spin grass models. So then for instance, if we consider another, for, for instance, P-spin model or the anti-ferromagnetic uh, model or something, in this case, that uh, how about the improvement of the scaling of the, for instance, TTS or something? So can you show some other example without for the example? Uh, I'm afraid we just have this result. Only this ah, okay. result. Yes, we yes, don't yes, conduct yes. any mm -hmm. other models. Uh, hmm. and be because the, the calculation is very heavy. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, it, yes, it's very difficult mm -hmm. to conduct mm -hmm. uh, for multiple models as well as a larger system size at this point. Uh, so the from theoretical side, at this point, we, we just show this. Uh, Hopefully, we, we have a mm. real contact device. We can confirm, mm. but uh, at this point, uh, 
I, I agree. Okay. I, I don't have I enough、yes. information、mm. to convince the experiment. Of、ah, okay, no problem.、Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, but、mm. that is my, 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 <laughs> my wish. <laughs> okay, so it's clear. Yes, thank you. So, okay, any question from audiences? Yes. Any, any question?、Ah, okay, Paul, please. Yes. Uh, yes, hello. That's a very nice uh, talk. Uh, thank you very much, Karawaki、uh, san.、Uh, can you have a quick look at page 12 of your presentation, please?、Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, so at t equals one, the Hamiltonian is dominated by this、um, C term. Yeah.、Uh, Uh, yes, yes. So, so I guess、um, I'm, I'm trying to understand how you ne nevertheless end up in the ground state of A. That perhaps initially seems surprising to me, given that that、mm -hmm. is dominated、okay. by C. That we have E right, right. Okay, at least it's. Classical Hamiltonian, okay. So Z and Z. We don't have any X or、yes. Y. But、uh, yeah, right. Yeah, that, that part, I, I already thought about that. But what was、uh, my conclusion? I, I, I forgot.、Uh, but I, I convinced myself. <laughs> to the why, why, yeah, before, but now I, I don't know why I, I was convinced. So, I'm, myself, I'm, am I right to say that? I mean, this is not a this, this is not an equilibrium state at t equals one, but you're 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 dynamically passing through the ground state of A, and if you measure precisely at t equals one, that you are in the ground state of A with high probability, but it's But you, it, it's a dynamic state. Is, is that correct? Yes.、Um, okay. So, at, at least my or our, our Hamiltonian is not the exact Hamiltonian to, to for other counter diabetic Hamiltonian. So, because、so、based on the Takahashi's paper,、mm -hmm. uh, for example, those curves,、uh, not this blue curve, but other curves is an exact solution. So, I'm, I'm, I'm curious if I, I brought.、Uh, This my curve with the exact solution, it's vanished to zero at the time t equal. Yeah,、one. maybe that 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 that, that sounds better. That、brilliant. is potentially yes, that is yes. answer, but I, I, I don't have any、uh, confidence at this point. And could could you comment also, therefore, um on on, on the timing resolution? So if you're Having to measure this dynamic state in the presence of this large counter diabetic driving term at t equals one. And if I measure at t equals one plus epsilon, then presumably I measure a completely different state. So, so can you comment on how precise the、yeah. precise measurement needs to be? That, that part,、uh, I have a、uh, little information on this. So the I can say that the classical projection. Yeah, that was good. The, yeah, but the other quantum state, it, it, it oscillates、yeah, okay. so much. That, that may be related to that, that curve in the last stage of. I think that's right. Yeah.、Thing. Interesting. Interesting. Good, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, thank you for your question. So it's almost the、uh, 
uh, time or, or already over. So then, okay. So if you have some quick question, so we can accept very quick question. Any question? Okay, if not, so, okay, let's uh, thanks to the Dr. Kadowaki again and uh, close the Inca seminar today. Can I just, can, so, I just, can I just quickly ah, interrupt yes. and point ah, out? Yes, oh, please, yes. Uh, please. yes. That, um, we now have a short break of Inca seminars due to the uh, Christmas and New Year holidays. So I first of all wish everyone a happy holiday season. And secondly, remind you that the next Inca seminar is not until uh, the 10th of January, 2023. So we miss we miss three Tuesdays and then we start again on the 10th of January and we'll, we'll send an email reminder about that. But a uh, uh, happy Christmas and a Merry New Year to everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice Christmas and a New Year's. See you. Happy holidays. Year. Yes, see you.